so here on L Street, you have the ECAT motor pool. And then on the west side, before you get to Fairfield, you have the main jail facility. You know, it's interesting if you've never been over here or looked around to know what's going on. This is the main county jail. This is the one that we always talk about, Castle Gray Skull. You might have heard that phrase before because it does kind of have that look to it. Over there you have the sheriff's department. And then to its south, over onto Leonard Street, you have the juvenile detention facility, the single story building here. And as you drive down towards Leonard Street, you suddenly notice that there's a whole bunch of construction going on. A lot of, it looks like parking is what's being constructed here. And part of the reason that you have all of this parking, I assume, is because you are in the process of, and you can see that crane in the background, we are in the process of building an entirely new jail facility. A very expensive hundred and, I want to say hundred and forty million dollar jail facility. Here you have dirt coming down the road and this is behind Payson Fairfield, the strip mall that's back there. This is behind all of that. I'll go ahead and pull in and take a little bit of a closer survey, but so this is right behind the jail, just to the west of the main jail. We'll, we'll step out and take a quick survey. So, and just if you're kind of wondering what's the uh, character of the neighborhood, you get your idea. But here you have major construction equipment. And this enormous crane, which they are already starting to lay some of the concrete framing for the main jail, which is actually more advanced than I thought it was. I knew they had been clearing land out here, but they've been doing this for several months. And again, this is just east of Pace, just south of Fairfield. That is the strip mall that eventually, I believe all of that is going to get demolished. Those are on like month to month leases right now. I could be wrong, but that's what I'm going on memory for. And then here you have massive walls being put in place for what will eventually be the new jail facility. behind this giant dirt berm that they're working off of that's been there long enough to have overgrowth on it. see these guys guiding it in by hand. I mean, that's just pretty cool. Again, just right behind the current jail facility. So just for another angle on this, okay, that's the, uh, the main jail and then the back of the main jail that's been repainted and looks nice and new. And here you have, or newish, and then here you have slightly other, another angle, or right behind the uh, juvenile detention facility here, as they're clearing ground and laying that wall 
segment that we were looking at before. So as you, buy, you know by now, I'm one of these guys that likes to drive around and see everything. This is the southwest corner of Pace and Leonard, and you have the auto zone that's right here. And then as you turn and go up Pace and go north on Pace, you can again see that big crane in the background, but here you see all of the, you know, the water, storm water that's gonna be put in. This is the construction project for the new jail. A lot of old rebar, several containers, and in fact, let's go ahead and drive up here because it's an interesting other vantage on it. We have all the uh, Will Scott trailers apparently. You can get right up here and kind of see how the progress is going from this side. A lot since the last time I checked, quite frankly. I mean, look at all, all of the construction that has taken place now. So again, this is right behind the strip mall. And there you can see internally they're jacked into place. You can see the perimeter foundation has been laid. They're still grading. This all used to be kind of a field and forest area, which was an interesting problem for enforcement sometimes. That's the main jail, the old jail, Gray Skull. And here you have the new jail under construction. <laughs> 